We begin out on Staten Island, where just a little while ago, Michael Camarata left the 120th precinct on his way to court. He is now facing second-degree charges of murder and tampering with physical evidence, and so is his girlfriend. I want to use for Tim Fleischer. He's live at the precinct in the St. George section with the very latest. Tim. And detectives here at the 120 precinct holding this case together after the medical examiner made the positive identification of the victim. Now, the estranged husband of that victim faces multiple charges and will be arraigned this afternoon. Estranged husband Michael Camarata and his girlfriend Aisha Aguia are both being charged with the murder of 37 year old Janine Camarata. Her charred remains were identified by the medical examiner. NYPD detectives searching for Camarada, a mother and teacher who had gone missing, discovered her remains in this storage facility in Arden Heights early Thursday morning. With the discovery of this human remains, these human remains, the investigation has taken a turn, and it, it would the investigation taken a turn into a murder investigation. Eyewitness News has learned detectives have surveillance video of Michael Camarada leaving his far Rockaway apartment with a large bag. Additional surveillance video sources say shows the same man and a woman entering the extra space storage facility with the same large bag. With a search warrant, they discovered the body that was charred and unrecognizable. It was discovered in a bin with a bag wrapped around it. Friends who were fearing the worst, reality closing in that they would not see Janine alive, held a candlelight vigil outside her apartment Thursday night. Yeah, I'm angry and upset. Attorneys had served Michael Camerata with divorce papers last week. The couple has a history of domestic violence complaints going back three years. Liz Torrey, a friend, was there for one of them. She told me Michael's outside and she was shaking so bad. And I told her, don't worry, I'm going to take you home. You're going to be just fine. We walked out the store together. He started following us. His lights off. And instead of me taking her home, I made a U turn and I went to the 120 precinct. The pair is also charged with concealing a human corpse and also tampering with evidence.